So like they just cut me off. So they said, um, I, because I was in the hospital at 12, they were the ones who put me there. That's what I'm saying. It's child abuse. It's human experimentation. If this does this to my face, and I told you how I used to get discolored, so I would use products to lighten the spots that were discolored. They said, no, you put it all over. I couldn't have put it all over. Those types of products aren't the types of products that exist now. They're like little creams and you get a little jar of it. It's not the same strength that you would get now. And those don't work. It didn't change my skin color. And that's my point. As you guys have seen my skin color, this system made my skin darker. Anyway, and that's my point. If I have to keep arguing and arguing and explaining, and then they just, they stop for a moment and then they go right back. If you are human experimenting on a child, they said it started when I was a little girl, and I do believe that, then you can't ever look at me and say you helped me any and they admit that they admit I never did the things that they claimed I did or it was made into a bigger deal to keep me psychologically I think not just psychologically in this type of situation but to keep me I'll end the sentence with that to keep me and when you talk about that, that this was done to a child by adults and they thought it was okay, I would never think it's okay. They said that the children that they wanted to involve in this now, they wanted to get into this program. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the fact that if we think it's okay to follow people, harass them to get them upset, base videos on that, but not exactly what happened, but around. The, the kind of how it was around what happened, but not accurate, so that then you can keep showing them that, that dream until it changes how that person remembered what actually happened, and keep going over the same things that you say happened forty years ago, and you're going to start doing this to other people's children, and that's part of the point of my anger, is that it wasn't that this was done to them; it was done to me. I'm someone else's child. They keep coming up, well, 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 what about this? Those people aren't my parent. And they don't understand this. This is such a simple thing to understand. You cannot do these types of things to other people's children and think that that grown child will say, oh, that's, that's fine. It's not okay. And I'm going to say that. This is going to be the title of both parts. It's not okay. So as I'm working on trying to take down the swelling using the turmeric because it helps with the inflammation, using tea tree oil, uh, ginger tea, looking at the list of um, exercises that I put into AI, exercise and health. These things help a lot. These people are still trying to get me to be involved with them. And that's what this is. It's a, a trap to get people to be involved with them because they can't find anyone else. Why? Because they're horrible people. And they said they didn't expect me to say it. I have to say it. So the other point I want to talk about is how I think I was, they wanted to keep me in this isolated state so that I wouldn't be able to talk to people about it. But I'm always work, working with the public and seeing different people and other people see me. And I think that is the answer to this. They can't see me, but other people have seen me. And they know I would never lie about this. Most of all, how would I even have thought of it? So that was how this started. It started with them saying that um, they want credit for my work because they came up with a system to do this to me, which is them admitting abuse. Then it, it went from that to we always help you. Then it went to, we need you, you're a liar. You, this isn't really happening. Again, when they thought they could make this sound like some great opportunity that they gave me to hurt me and harm me, all, they said all my life, then it was wonderful. But the moment other people said, this is horrible, is when they changed. So... How this creates chaos in my life is that it takes up too much time and energy. I can't work. I can't function. 
They're talking all day, every day. They did things to me physically that caused me so much pain and ruined my life. And they said they thought I, my personality was that I wouldn't tell. Why? Why would I not tell? I'm wondering what their personality is that they would think that it's okay to talk about it from them, but the victim can't. And maybe that's what happens to most victims. And, and most victims don't talk about things like this because it's hard. But I have to. Thank you for watching.